Good morning guys, my name is Morphine City and welcome back to another vlog today. Yep, today's the day, it finally happened, we sold the GZ250. So, without further ado, let's go check her out. And here we go guys, this was my first ever bike, the Suzuki Marauder GZ250 2010. Um, yeah, it's got aftermarket pipes on it, of course my custom Punisher decal, and barring mirrors, the exact same ones that I've got on my Vulcan actually, uh, which is pretty cool. We finally sold her today, which is, I'm sad to see her go, but... She was just sitting here doing nothing, so, yeah. Um, but one thing is my WAF label is um, down there, and apparently it's out of date. It is current, I just have the old one on there, I just never put the new one on, so I'm going to pop down to the garage and pick up a new copy today. Oh yeah, and guys, here's a wee sneak peek of the RNG tail tidy for the Vulcan S. We just filmed the install video for that yesterday, so keep your eyes peeled for the install video coming soon. Alright, guess we're going to get started suiting up. Let's go. All right, we'll leave it there just to warm up for a bit. You're probably wondering why this isn't on the bike. Yeah, we'll talk about that soon. Just in your own time, Reeves. Just in your own time. Let's go down when you're ready. Just when you're ready. No rush. I know it's the middle of winter. Just, just, just calm down whenever you want. It's fine. <gasps> It's ready. All right, guys, let's go. Waffle label time. Just picking one up from mechanics around the road. And it's so dirty. <laughs> so it's like the middle of winter, guys, at the moment. It's been really cold and really wet. Um, so I haven't been able to put out a vlog for a while because it's just been that wet. That it's been raining so much that I haven't been able to put my mic on my GoPro, I guess, is the main reason. Yeah, man. Yeah. Always rolling. Comes in handy. <laughs> Alright, so apparently the waffle label I need to have the actual vehicle there for them to issue it, which is weird. I've never had that before. I lost one off my bike in uh, Timaru. My waffle label fell off, off my GZ a year ago or so in Timaru. And I just went into a random mechanics when we were in town and got one printed. But no, apparently I have to bring the actual bike in to be inspected. So. We'll just whip back home and we'll grab that one. It's no biggie, it's not far away. Um, I just didn't want to ride it on the road because it's not insured to ride on the road. It's only insured to be in the garage. Uh, actually, we want to go this way. Whoopsies. So I don't know if you saw that guy just then. He was like, oh, is that a guy probably running on the side of your helmet? Yeah, it is. Because you're checking out my bike, you thieving bastard. Nah, no judgment. <laughs> but it's funny, it's so funny. People are just like, oh, why have you got that? What? I don't understand. Because Moto Madness, that's why, right? Just kidding. It's for my own safety, we all know that. And to catch awesome random shit. To put on YouTube, right? Okay, so, back home, switch bikes, back to the mechanics. Good thing it's like, literally like five minutes away. Alright, we back, we back. Thanks for leaving me so much space, Sparkles, to get into the house. Thanks, man. Sparkles is my flatmate, by the way, his real name's Michael. That's right, you've been revealed. Alright, attempt two. Look at that, starts first time. Bloody good, bloody good. Man, I look retardedly massive on this tiny bike. Little bike, little bike. Let's give you a bit of joke. I guess this is my last ride with her, guys. Of all of like two kilometers, but I, just, I have done so many miles on this. I bought it at 4,000 miles, got it up to there in the space of 15 months. 
I think that's pretty cool. Man, that's like the handlebars are so much closer in and oh, I used to think that this had so much room for a 250. It does. It does have a lot of room for a 250. Two very boring minutes later. All right, so they're apparently refusing to do it, which is a b -b bullshit. Yeah, I've done it at a couple of other places before. I've had literally had my, um, as you guys know, my license plate fell off. I had to get that redone, and had to get my waff label done for as well. Um, yeah, they're like, oh, because you didn't get it done here, we can't do it, which is absolute bullshit because. I've had it done at other places, you just have to list it as a copy and then it's fine. Uh, so that's super annoying. Um, so we're off to another place now, which is unfortunately quite far away. So I tried to ring them, their number didn't work, but their website works, so I'm hoping they're open. It says open until 3 on Sunday, so worst day to be doing this, but we'll give it a go. Anyway, it means I get a nice little ride of this fella, so. It's not, it's not all that bad. Twenty minutes later. Right, where the hell is this place? I thought it was here. Well, it's fucking not there anymore. That's for sure, I'm pretty sure it was that red building. Alright, let's go back and check, but then, uh, we got to get another option. So it's now the Tui Campers, the place I wanted to go to. Great! Closed on the 26th of September. Wonderful. A few minutes later. Back to literally where we just came from. I am not even kidding. A little longer than a few minutes later. Well, they went on my search. Couldn't find a place that would reprint the WAF. They said they have to go back to the original place I could have done. And because it's Sunday, they're not open. So hopefully the new owners of the bike will be okay with me picking that up and dropping it off to them um, this week sometime. But yeah, hopefully that's okay. So you yeah, guys, we'll leave it here for now and I'll see you guys in a bit. baby's gone and just like that guys um yeah the gz250 is gone um it's gonna be pretty sad still here down the road oh i'm a little bit gutted to see it go but oh oh well we move on now it's just the balconies guys that is crazy that is totally crazy um yeah, that's my first experience selling a bike. I'm really glad it's gone to a really like a good owner as well. They have obviously known that I've, I've looked after it. Obviously, there's a bit of wear and tear on the bike because I did get out there and use it like a bike's supposed to be used. Um, but you know, they respect it there and they can see that I've looked after it and cared for it and serviced it regularly. And you know, it's been well looked after. But yeah, that's crazy. All right, guys, let's get on with the video. Alrighty, guys, just like that, where once lived a Suzuki Marauder, there is now an empty space. <laughs> Uh, oh man, I guess, yeah, that happened. Alrighty guys, it's time to shoot off now. I'm going to shoot down to the bank and see if I can deposit the cash that I got paid for the bike sale uh, now if I can. But yeah, you may see that sitting right there. That's the Dan Moto. Why is it there, you ask? Um, yeah, let's talk about that. So yeah, I spent a little over $400 on the Dan Moto exhaust. 
Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's too loud, guys. It's literally too loud. 100 is the legal limit. Um, if you were anywhere near the legal limit, like if, you, if your exhaust sounds loud, louder than SOC, it's illegal unless you get certification um, to prove that it's under the legal limit of 100 decibels. So, certification costs $200. I 100% would have to go get a certification. So, first of all, I figured I'd do my own sound test. So, I got a sound tester from work and we tested it at idle, okay? So, at idle, it sits at 100, okay? That's not revving or anything at all, okay? Put some throttle on. 115 was what we got guys 115 decibels if you're not sure how decibels work every increment of 10 decibels is double the volume so at 100 decibels 100 decibels is, is two times louder than 90 decibels right okay your average loud car is 90 decibels right so at 115 decibels if 100 is the legal limit 115 is, if I am correct, three times louder than the legal limit. The damn motor exhaust is three times louder than the New Zealand legal limit. Three times. That's insane. The video does not do it justice. It is actually so loud. So we've gone and put the stock pipe back on for now. I'm gonna go take it to my uncle's at some point and see if he can do anything with it, but if not, we're just gonna try and sell it off as a competition pipe because it is, it is that. I will say I loved having it loud, um, it was too loud for me, though I would say my ears were starting to ring after I was riding and I was like, okay, that's weird, like, I'm in a band and I play loud music every week and my ears ring after that and that's bad, but doing having it ring every day from riding my bike every day is not good, so yeah, we've got to do something about it, quieting it down, it's just, it's ridiculous. So I'm going to take it to my uncle's house and see if he can do anything about making it quieter. Yeah, take out the baffle and modify it to see if we can do anything with that at all. Um, we'll see how we go, I guess. But uh, yeah, if that is not an option, I guess I'm selling it onwards. So um, yeah, if anyone wants a damn auto exhaust that's only been used for a couple of weeks, um, yeah, I'm happy to sell it to you at a heavily discounted price. Um, but yeah, international shipping, we'll have to figure that out if you guys are overseas, obviously. Um, but yeah. I don't know what else to do. It's ridiculous. I have been looking at other exhaust options. Um, it looks like the quietest aftermarket uh, exhaust system is the Arrow Rebel, which comes in under the 100 uh, decibel rating and is already certified um, when you buy it. So yeah, it comes with ECE and EC rating on both the headers and the muffler itself. So that's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, other than that, I, I don't know what to do. That's, that's the end of the story. My $400 mistake. The damn auto exhaust. I, I mean, I'm not bagging the exhaust at all, guys. It is a great exhaust. I would still highly recommend it. It is just too loud for me, and it is too loud for legal reasons in my country of New Zealand. So that's my reasons for switching. You guys might be like, oh, don't be a pussy. Just fucking rip it hard. But I'm like, mm, eh. cops are getting pretty hard on motorcycles at the moment in our country. And... We are few and far between because we are such a small nation, only four and a half million. Um, yeah, it gets pretty easy with there's there's the bank that I need to go to. Okay. Alrighty fam, so money was deposited now. Um, use that to pay off some debt already, so that money's gone <laughs> straight away. But yeah, that's good. Good use of time didn't go spending it on toys which is what i would have liked to have done for the videos but um no nope. need to clear debt first that's what's most important all right guys we are heading off now to my parents house but yeah i don't think i finished talking about it so the exhaust the dead motor right okay it's gone no biggie maybe a biggie meh don't want to think about it that's a thing that happened um but yeah the, i'm looking at the arrow rebel now it's the quietest of the aftermarket um, exhaust available for the Vulcan S. However, with that, it is also the most expensive. Um, because it has a catalytic converter now for the latest model um, Vulcan ones, which I do want it because it's more compliant. Um, and it will actually be a bit more quiet with that in there. Um, I'm exploring right now. I have no idea where the fuck I'm going. It has a catalytic converter inside it, so um, it's better for emissions as well. And also will help silence it a little bit. Um, but yeah, the Arrow Rebel. 
is currently, the best price I've found for it in my currency is $1,800. Um, which is nuts, but it's Italian made and it's super sexy and going from the $400 Dan Moto to an $1,800 <laughs> Italian made versus Chinese um, is a big difference. And that's right guys, Dan Moto is an American company but they are manufactured in China. Um, but I will tell you that there is no um, there is no real damper on quality. If you get what you pay for, and in terms of you know four hundred dollars for an exhaust compared to eighteen hundred dollars, the exhaust, the actual quality of the damn motor is exceptional. Um, well, at least I thought so. Oh, I love this bike. I love this bike so much, guys. It's fucking great. Oh, fuck, motherfucking road. Get shit full of you know? Watch out for the loose fucking gravel. I don't get nods anymore because my bike's quiet again. <laughs> Fuck you, Harleys. Yeah, you listen to that backfire. I used to get that. <laughs> I miss it. And guys, yeah, let me know what you think of these vlog style videos as opposed to my normal like tutorials and installs that I've been doing recently. Um, yeah, and of course the Moto Madness stuff that I put up all the time to time, that's basically from having this camera rolling 24-7. Um, whenever I get on, I try and have the camera rolling as long as I've got battery. Um, yeah, for safety reasons and insurance purposes, I guess, more than anything. Um, yeah, we've hit 200 subscribers. Um, we were at 100 like two weeks ago, guys. That's fucking awesome. Like, I dare say a lot of you guys have come from Moto Madness. Um, that's fair. But I have been on Moto Madness before, a long time ago, and my subscriber count did not grow. I don't know if like what's changed this time around but I, I, I obviously you've come and checked out my videos and found a bit more motorcycle content and i guess maybe that's why you've stuck around and if that's the case i appreciate it let me know guys let me know why you've subscribed i, I appreciate knowing so i can make my content better for you guys i mean that's a that's a big factor i'm um, of making me making videos is that you guys find them informative or entertaining you know that's that's, that's the reason i make them so yeah I just love motorcycles and I want to share whatever knowledge or entertainment I get from them, I guess. So you guys, if you're ever in the neighborhood, um, or if you're ever in New Zealand and you're, you're touring or anything and want to catch up with me, feel free to give me a... Oh, dead possum. If, if you're, yeah, if you're ever in the country coming for a ride, um, yeah, hit me up in the comments, we'll sort something out. Or give me a message on Instagram. Um, or Fincity on Instagram as well guys um, yeah I've never dropped or plugged on my Instagram before but yeah if you want to follow me on Snapchat and Instagram I post random shit bike related, unbike related I don't know what noise that was but yeah if you want to check out some of my shit or get in contact with me best way, Snapchat or Instagram more Fincity on both and uh, yeah guys that's, that's pretty much going to be my video I'm pulling it to my parents now and we'll see you guys next time. See you guys, as always, have fun, stay young, and peace.